Hi, greetings, my hoodoo boos. Hi, I am the African witch bitch hoodoo practitioner. Uh, I'm at a social gathering right now, so hopefully y'all can hear me. Um, I know it's a lot of noise and background and uh, stuff in my uh, in my ear, in your ear rather. But I, hopefully you can hear this because I really truly believe that this is a very very important message. Uh, okay, so I know that what I'm about to say is going to piss a lot of people off. I know that this is going to rub some feathers the wrong way. I know that a lot of people are going to be hitting their jugular for what I'm about to say. But I'm going to tell you right now, the only way I know how to be is real, and the only way I know how to give it to you is raw. If what I'm about to say offends you, and this shoe fits, bitch, lace that bitch up and wear it, and do better. So let me get started. There's three type of practitioners, baby witches. This is under the umbrella of baby witches. Regardless of what your lane is, whether your lane be African spirituality, any of the disciplines under African spirituality, any of the practices under that, or even Wicca and Celtic or whatever the case may be, any other pagan practice, there's three types of babies out there. There's the babies that are brand new and literally just wanna learn. They don't want nothing. They want to know which lane they're, they're going to. They don't know which lane they're in, so they're maybe taste testing a bunch of different practices until they find their niche. And they literally have a pure heart and want to learn. Then you have the people that jump, they get hella over zeal zealous. I hope that's the right way. I know what I'm trying to say. And they get excited. And what they want to do is they want to jump in head first and take off running without getting doing any of their groundwork. They don't necessarily have a pure heart. They don't necessarily um, have a willingness to learn. They literally just want to jump in and start practicing like they've been practicing without learning first. Okay? Then there's the people that literally get in this with really poor integrity. They already have poor integrity in whatever practice they were in before, but they're babies that want to learn with the objective of scamming motherfuckers. That's literally what they want. They want to learn for the, the sheer purpose. They want to learn for the sheer purpose just so they can boss up their pockets. They're not trying to elevate in spirit. They're not trying to boss up in their own power. They're literally learning just so they can be low vibrational and pad their pockets. That's the only reason, no other reason than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clarify, just like I did with the three type of practitioners, I'm gonna go ahead and clarify with the three type of baby witches, okay? And only you can sit up, meditate, listen to the words I'm saying to say which category you fall in. Now I can tell you first and foremost, when I first got in this lane, I literally just wanted to learn, find a niche, and build a relationship with my ancestors. I didn't have no ulterior motives, and when I when I came through, the ancestors guided me to teachers who raised me, if that makes sense, okay? Now, that, that that's the baby witches. They're the innocent ones. They just want to learn. They don't have no, no will to hurt nobody. They literally just want to learn. Now, the problematic two of the baby witches is the people that come in that are hella overzealous. They're overzealous as fuck. They come in, they find out, oh, it's possible to have magical power. And instead of them sitting their ass down, instead of them doing their groundwork, instead of them learning first, they want to jump in the front seat. They ain't, let, let me liken it to a car, y'all. know I like to use my analogies. Let me liken it to a car. You have a teenager, and maybe you as a parent decide, okay, it's time for me to start teaching my son or daughter how to drive. And let's say your son or daughter is 15 years old. And the first thing you do is you give them the driver's ed book or whatever, and you tell them to study the book so they can learn the rules of the road, right? That's what you do. And then maybe after they've studied the book for about maybe a month or two, you say, okay, then let me enroll you in some driver's ed classes. That's more book learning, right? Okay. So they take maybe a semester of driver's ed. When I was in school, I had to take driver's ed for a semester. You learn the rules of the road. You have a teacher teaching you one-on-one. -on -one. You learn how a car works. You learn um, penalties for this. They even tell you what happens if you do this, that, and the third. They showed us a video called Red Asphalt. I'll never forget that. Where people who were drunk drivers or inebriated driving, what could happen if you do this, that, and the third? 
They also told you the stipulated laws, seatbelt law, et cetera. All of that was book learning, school learning. Then you take a test and you get your permit. See, you're progressing. When you get your permit, now you're legal enough to get behind the wheel and to drive, you know, maybe in a parking lot so you can learn the feel of a car, okay? With, with the baby witches who literally don't know and they have a pure heart to learn, they, they don't have a problem going through the process of driver's training, driver's ed. It's these overzealous witches who don't want to learn and they just want to be 15 and 14 years old, never took driver's training, never took driver's ed. They want to jump in the car of the fastest car and speed down the road without doing no groundwork. And maybe they may have borrowed their mama's car without their permission, got in it and drove to the store and drove back home and everything was successful. Nothing happened but shit. It's really dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. And now they think because they did one piece of a spell and it worked, that now they have the green light, the hex motherfuckers, to do money spells, to do this, to do that, because they think, because they've been practicing for like a month, and they did one successful spell that they automatically got the green light to go out and be reckless as fuck. Threatening people on social media when they piss them off. Somebody make you mad, hit a red light or, or cut you off in traffic or maybe your cousin piss you off or your uncle, whatever the case may be. And now you're posting fucking soliloquies on social media talking about I'm a witch, you know what I can do. I'm a hex you, don't fuck with me. Who the fuck practices like that? First of all, you young ass witch bitch that don't, and I'm talking to you bitch, you know who I'm talking to. You ain't never put your stripes in and your time into this lane. If you really gonna hex a motherfucker, you don't warn them ahead of time, you dumbass. Because that's putting out energy. It's like a teenager who don't have a license, who never went to driver's training, who don't have a permit jumping in the front seat of a Maserati and speeding down the street without knowing any of the rules of the road or even a map on where the fuck to go. That's problematic. Now, I've discussed the baby baby witches who are innocent, who just wanna learn. I've discussed the overzealous witches with poor integrity and no direction and don't wanna learn. It's not that they don't really have no direction. They don't wanna be taught shit because they got it all figured out. And then you got the uh, low integrity ass witches. They literally just wanna come in this so they can learn, so they can go out and scam people. These are the motherfuckers who just learned and, and they found and they use scare and fear tactics. That's their number one vehicle. Is they go out and they use scare and fear tactics to make you think that they have fucking power just so they can scare you into getting in your pockets. Now here's something y'all don't know about the African witch bitch. I'm in a lot of ma magical groups and I have a few Facebook accounts because a bitch kind of get locked up in Facebook jail a lot. And even on my main account, I'm, I'm subscribed to a few magical groups and on my sub account, I'm subscribed to a few magical groups. Then I have accounts that nobody will even know about where I'm subscri subscribed to a lot of magical groups. And I see the people that are in my Facebook group. I see you pretending to ask questions and to learn, but in these other groups, you on some bullshit. And I'm calling your ass out. You are in other groups learning how to scam people, asking questions under the same fucking name, Facebook name, about how to do unethical ass shit. But then you'll come in my group and pretend that you're learning. You pretend that you're asking questions. So right now what I see is you're dipping your toes in the pool so you can find out what it do and what it don't so you can go out and scam people. You see a motherfucker that's in these other scamming ass groups literally fucking scamming people and you're cheering them on and I see the shit. And then if I don't see it, it's screenshot and sent to me. So now I'm in a conundrum. Do I kick you the fuck out because you're low vibrational and I don't want that energy to infect the other people who are really there to learn? Or do I keep you so in the hopes that you can learn and elevate higher? Because I see a lot of people that are in my group and when I read your post, Spirit will speak to me and say she's elevating, she's learning, she's going through. She, in six months, she's not gonna be the same person. She's on the right path. And then Spirit will tell me, this bitch is fucked up. She doing some fuck shit. She doing this, she doing that. So I see it and I know a lot more than I tell you and my admins know too. I just wanna make this a warning to the baby witches. People lie, but energy don't. 
People lie, but ancestors don't. People lie, but spirit, but spirit don't lie. You think you might be fooling somebody, but you're not. And I'm telling you right now that you need to fucking stop. If you're really here to learn, then learn. But if you're really here on some bullshit, get the fuck out of my group, move the fuck around, because I don't want you hurting people there who are really there to learn. And if this offends you, and if you feel like shots fire, bitch, bye. Okay? I say, I'm the African witch. Hoodoo practitioner. I got passionate for a moment. But I'm going to need y'all to understand, understand, and overstand what the fuck I'm saying. Because I was sent to protect baby witches. And if I see a fucking alligator in the pool, in the kiddie pool, pretending to be a baby witch, I'm going to call you the fuck out and kick you out to protect those baby witches. If you don't like it, scratch your ass and get glad and move the fuck around. Ashe, I'm the African witch.